hello everyone welcome back to amin mean math club so today we have two equations first one is x plus y is equal to 6 and uh, second one is x times y means product of x y is equal to 6 36 so um, in first one we can see that the addition of x and y is equal to 6 so sum of x and y is equal to 6 and product of x y is equal to 36 so we need to find the value of x and y here uh, and now first of all we are going to write the name of first equation which is equation 1 and it is equation 2 so here we are going to write first equation in terms of y so if we write equation one in terms of y then we have on that y is equal to shifting this x we get six minus x now putting this uh, value of uh, y in equation two then we have so equation two implies that x times y so we are uh, going to put on uh, this y value of y is six minus x here which is equal to 36 now multiplying x with 6 we get 6x minus x square and shift in this uh, 36 we get minus 36 here is equal to 0 now rearranging this uh, equation we get minus x square plus 6x minus 36 is equal to 0 and here on uh, that multiplying uh, here multiplying uh, minus 1 on both side so multiplying minus 1 on both side we get here minus minus plus x square and minus 6x and minus minus plus 36 which is equal to 0 so now our um, that equation is a simple quadratic equation so we just use quadratic uh, formula to you know, find the value of x here so here uh, our value of a is 1 and b is minus 6 similarly value of c is 36 which is a constant so now using quadratic formula which is x is equal to minus b that plus minus square root b square minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a so now putting values then we get here it implies that minus times minus uh, here minus times b is minus 6 so minus times minus 6 plus minus b square means minus 6 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 36 all over 2 times a is 1 so we have just put the values of a b and c here now our next step is x is equal to minus time minus is plus 6 plus minus square root of as we know that uh, if our exponent is even then this negative square will be positive so 6 square is 36 minus 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 36 we get on uh, that 1 4 6 of 4 24 2 and then we get 1 12 and 2 144 so 36 minus 144 all over 2 times 1 is 2 so next step will be 6 plus minus here minus 144 plus 36 we have that minus 1 uh, 0 at here so minus 1 0 at all over 2 now here we see that x is equal to 6 plus minus that 1 0 8 and with minus 1 so we can uh, just factorize this 1 0 8 like uh, let us consider 1 0 8 it is equal to uh, 2 times 2 4 and uh, times 3 12 and times 3 36 and times 3 is 108 so here uh, we see that there 2 times 2 is 2 square and um, here 3 square times 3 so we can just factorize this 108 like this that 2 times 2 is 2 square times 3 square times this 3 and times minus 1 so here minus 1 we just write here minus 1 all over now our next step is x is equal to 6 plus minus we can just separate the square root here so 2 square square root times 3 square square root times square root of 3 and times square root of minus 1 all over 2 so here x is equal to 6 plus minus here we get 2 and here we get 3 so 2 times 3 is 6 6 square root of 3 and here minus 1 square root we know that it is equal to iota so all over 2 
so if we take common here 2 is common then we have that 3 plus 3 square root of 3i all over 2 now cancelling this 2 with 2 we get sorry here uh, plus minus similarly here plus minus so 3 plus minus 3 square root of 3 uh, i which is equal to 3 plus minus 3 square root of 3 i so it is a uh, value of x uh, we have just find out the value of x now there are two values of x now writing x1 and x2 here now we have two values of x x1 is equal to 3 plus 3 square root of 3 i and similarly x2 is equal to 3 minus 3 square root i so these are two values of x and uh, now by using these two values we can find out the value of y so here uh, as we know that we have this uh, equation that as we have uh, this equation which is y is equal to 6 minus x so uh, we can just say this uh, let it is equation number 3 so using equation 3 here y is equal to 6 minus x uh, due to which we can find out the value of of y so using equation 3 which is y is equal to 6 minus x now putting a value of x1 then we have here y is equal to 6 minus here x1 is 3 plus 3 square root of 3i so it is value of x1 then it is y1 hence y1 is equal to 6 minus 3 minus 3 square root of 3i and 6 minus 3 we know that it is 3 and 3 minus 3 square root of 3i so it is y1 when we put x1 is 3 plus 3 square root of 3i then we get y1 similarly we are going to find other value of uh, this y2 so here uh, we are going to put other values of that x x2 y is equal to 6 minus x and here y2 is equal to 6 minus value of x2 is 3 minus 3 square root of 3i so y2 is equal to 6 minus 3 minus minus plus 3 square root of 3i and hence we get y2 is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 plus 3 square root of 3i so it is value of y hence we have find uh, values of y and x now if we write here that uh, x comma y so we have uh, four values first one is we are going to write value of x1 which is 3 plus square root of 3 here it is 3 plus 3 square root of 3 i comma for this value of y1 is 3 minus 3 square root of 3 i and similarly other values are x2 is 3 minus 3 square root of 3i and here for this value of y is y2 3 plus 3 square root of 3i so these are all uh, values of x and y and uh, we can check our result by putting these values so if we are going to check our result then uh, we have two equations first one is x plus y is equal to 6 and uh, other one is x times y is equal to 36 so if we put on uh, this pair of values here in first equation then we get here x plus y so x is 3 plus 3 square root of 3i and plus y is here y1 3 minus 3 square root of 3i then we uh, here see that uh, it is equal to 6 so plus 3 square root of 3i minus 3 square root of 3i can be cancelled so 3 plus 3 is 6 and 6 is equal to 6 left hand side equal to right hand side similarly we can uh, just uh, check uh, value of x and y in this equation too so 3 plus 3 square root of 3i times that 3 minus 3 square root of 3i so here we see that it is equal to sorry it is equal to 36 then um, by using a plus b and a minus b then we have here 3 square minus 3 times square root of 3i whole square which is equal to 36 so now 3 square is 9 and here 3 square is 9 and square root of 3 is, is 3 and i is uh, here we see that 3i is out of the square root so we get i square 
hence it is equal to 36 now 9 minus 27 i square is minus 1 which is equal to 36 so 9 minus minus plus 27 is equal to 36 and 9 plus 27 is 36 so 36 is equal to 36 you can see that left hand side is equal to right hand side hence it is our answer so it is true value of x and y are true so it is our entire answer we have just this solution here hope uh, you have just enjoyed this video and now uh, these are two values of x and y so if you have any question you can just uh, ask in comment box now we are going to check our all solutions step by step so that's it for today thanks for watching goodbye